Today I want to talk about scaling and namely talking about scaling in regards to the Lightning Network and sidechains because this past Friday I did a video on the wrapped Bitcoin wrapped BTC or WBTC which is an ERC20 token that is pegged to Bitcoin so that you can now use Bitcoin on the Ethereum network and this opens up for you know lower fees to use it in higher scale since Ethereum has higher throughput and all of that and sidechains has generally been one solution that has been suggested in order to solve the scaling issues but so has second layer solutions like Lightning Network. So how are these different and how can we utilize these in order to improve scaling and which one will win? That is what I want to talk about today. But first, you know that I have to remind you to go to academy.ivanontech.com. And if you're getting tired of me talking about the Academy and how great it is, you should simply enroll in the Academy because then you can ignore everything that I say about the Academy because then you would know how great our courses are and how much you will learn and what our great students actually say about these courses because it is amazing to see so many people enjoying and studying these uh, courses with dedication and how many people that love them and has gotten great results out of them so go to academy.ivanontech.com and join us today we just released our ethereum game programming course where you'll learn to program games on ethereum and use in a token that you integrate into your game a collectible or um, gaming token so that is fantastic go there but now we're going to go into the actual issue because as i said friday wbtc was released and as of now when i'm making this video there are 72 wrapped bitcoin in circulation meaning uh, people have locked in 72 bitcoin to get 72 bitcoin on or wrapped bitcoin on ethereum and that went pretty fast because I make this video, it's actually Friday today as well, I make this video today. But, and I'm sure it has increased to Monday. And if you compare this to Lightning Network, which has been up and running for a lot longer time, it has, uh, as of now, 624 Bitcoin in network capacity. So the question is, is the usability of Ethereum simply going to outrun the lightning network capacity so will we have more wrapped bitcoin in ethereum than we have in the lightning network in a few months time maybe that's the case because it went quite fast it just took a couple of days in order for us to get to 72 so how will this accelerate i don't know but we have a lot of interesting services popping up on ethereum that makes people want to lock in their assets in order to get fiat out while they hodl like MakerDAO. And I like these services, it's no secret, but uh, I also like Bitcoin. So I, I really, uh, I, I want the best for these two, uh, these two products, I really do. So which one will succeed in the end then? And well, first of all, what is the difference between the two? What is a sidechain? A sidechain is basically a, another blockchain, a separate blockchain with different, um, with different properties. Maybe it has a higher transaction throughput, maybe the... Uh, security generally is lower in order to get that higher throughput it has a specific uh, a specific you know tailored need to some sort of maybe it's a gaming sidechain like uh, what, what are they called i don't know the names of them loom network or whatever they have uh, gaming sidechains where you can have a sidechain for your game where you can have high transaction throughput and you can use your tokens there instead on the main network and then you have this two-way peg so that whenever you want to interact with the sidechain you lock up your funds on the main chain and then automatically they get released on the side chain. And that is of course to use to piggyback on some of the security and uh, proof of work that is in the main chain. So you always have this two way peg between these two uh, assets. And that is of course the same thing with wrapped Bitcoin. You know that by now. And this of course enables us to reach a higher scalability because I can go back and forth between these different side chains and utilize them for different needs. And now you can go back and forth between Ethereum. I covered that in the last video. And the Lightning Network could achieve, you know, they are striving towards some similar uh, properties. They want to get fast transactions, cheap transactions, like some side chains also are working on, but they do it on a layered 
uh, dimension. So they create another protocol that sits on top of Bitcoin where you can lock in your Bitcoin. It's similar. You lock in your Bitcoin and you can now use Lightning Network. You lock them up in a payment channel and then you can transact uh, between people in this big uh, network of channels. And uh, depending on your network or sorry, the channel capacity, depending on how much you've locked up, you can do uh, different uh, sized transactions. But we have uh, there are many videos on the Lightning Network. You can go and check that out. But uh, will one of these succeed and one will fail? I don't know. I think that Ethereum has a lot of advantages when it comes to, at the moment, how many developers they have and how actually, well, it's hard to say user-friendly, but more user-friendly with MetaMask and with all of these nice applications that are actually starting to come out. It is my feeling that Lightning Network moves a bit slower. People are not as excited for the Lightning Network. But at the same time, not a big fan of this rat Bitcoin either, even though I think it's, the idea is cool. So we will see, but it's hard to say. But in, I don't doubt that the innovative spirit of the Ethereum people is very high, and I appreciate that. So we're going to see where this, this moves. But I do love that things are happening behind the scenes, and people are really working in this bear market. But these are two solutions to the scaling issue, even though a sidechain doesn't necessarily have to do with scaling, but oftentimes it do. It does. But uh, I hope you enjoyed me just rambling about, about the Lightning Network and sidechains. And I because I think it's kind of funny that you can now have a two-way peg between Ethereum and Bitcoin. I do think that's kind of funny. So I just like to talk about it. I hope you enjoyed this little rant here. I don't know if we came to any conclusions, but I hope that you learned perhaps something. If you did, you can hit the like button. If you didn't learn a thing and this was worthless, hit the dislike button and leave a comment with future suggestions, what you want me to talk about or what your thoughts are. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.